So our next topic now is a distributor property and it's used a lot and you're gonna have to get very familiar with this and understand why you use the distributor property and when you use it. And it's not a difficult concept, it's just A, you know, it was outside parentheses and then you're multiplying the parentheses, the things inside the parentheses, the elements. So it's basically A times B plus A, I mean plus AC. A times C. So AB plus AC. If you can see that here. Okay. So let's do example number one. It'll it'll come up to you more clear. I know some people aren't familiar when they see letters and variables like at this time. They're like, I don't understand this letter thing and I, I have to use numbers. But you'll start understanding what this means and I'll explain it as it goes. So first rule is this number times this number. So it's four times x is what? Four x, right? 4 times x is just 4x. And what you do next is 4 times, don't forget the negative here, okay? 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. And that's it. You see that is a times b, okay? This is b, a times b plus a times c. c is negative 4, really, okay? So you get negative 16. And that's how you see it. This is more algebraic. And you got to start seeing in terms of algebra form, like variables. You have to get used to not having numbers. Um, I know numbers are like comfort food. And you just it just feels more comfortable when there's numbers to calculate. But it's not always like that, like in algebra. You have to get used to having variables. Okay. So let's get next to the next problem. And we're back to the fractions again. Because you, you can't leave fractions. If you leave fractions, you're gonna get very confused later on. So we're gonna do this one, okay? One half times x plus two. We have parentheses. Remember, remember parentheses. It changes everything. So one half times x is one half x, right? One half times x, okay? Or x over two, or however you want to write it, okay? And then one half times two is what? One half times two is two divided by two, which is just one, right? And that's it. This is all. It's not, it's not very difficult, like I said. Let's go to example three. Now you have a negative four times x plus y, okay? So what do you do here? Same thing, nothing different. Negative four, like a, right, times b, x is negative four x. Negative four times x is negative four x. And negative four times positive y, okay, is negative four y. You see that? Negative four times y, negative four y. So the answer is negative 4x minus 4y. Okay? So we'll do another example. Now we got put one number in there. So you can put it in different orders. I mean, some people see this so much, the x minus 4, they're like, oh, I thought the variable has to always be on the left side. No, it can be anywhere. It could be over there. It doesn't really matter. Okay? I know some of the textbooks, they always like do it one way and they don't show you the other way. But you could do it both ways. It, you know, you have to get used to that. Okay? So negative 3 times 7, same thing. Okay? Nothing different. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Negative 3 times negative y, okay? Negative times negative is a positive, right? 3 times y is just positive 3y then. And that's it. That's all it is. Now we're going to look more to more variables. Like, what happens if it's like something like kx? There's two of them, not just one. It's like two of these variables. What do you do? Same thing. You multiply it. See, the rules don't change. What's kx times 5? Well, that's 5kx. Okay? And then you have kx times negative y, and what's that? Well, kx times negative y is just negative kxy. And that's it. It looks complicated, right? I mean, first time you see this, you're like, all these letters, what is all these k's and x and y's, all of a sudden, and you just distribute it just like the way it is. It's, you know, there's nothing to it, okay? So this is my uh, distributed property. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, uh, next lesson.